you started your uh, journey uh, at UMass uh, doing reinforcement learning, but before that at the Indian Institute of Science. So I started working in reinforcement learning back in Indian Institute of Science during my master's. And that was in 95 was my first reinforcement learning paper. So I've been working in this space since then. Yeah. When people were probably dissing reinforcement learning. As to, oh, people know, didn't even know of reinforcement learning back then. So this thing started a few years later, or maybe a decade later. Uh, at that point, there were very few people working. In fact, there was not even a textbook on reinforcement learning back then. So we decided to write, uh, uh, me and my advisor at ISC, uh, Professor Satikiti, we decided to write a survey article. And for uh, several years after that, the survey article used to be the main point of reference for people who wanted to get started in reinforcement learning. And then uh, your work at UMass Amherst owned it further? Yes. So uh, when I went to UMass, I mean, I, I worked with uh, Rich Sutton and Andy Barto. So Andy Barto was my eventual PhD advisor. And they both recently got the Turing for their contributions to uh, uh, reinforcement learning. And then uh, at that time, we were working on a lot of, I mean, I mean Amherst used to be the, the happening place because it was like, kind of the fountainhead of RL, right? So anybody anywhere in the US or Europe who used to work in reinforcement learning used to come to Amherst to visit Andy Barto and Rich Sutton. So we used to talk to almost everybody in the field. And when I say everybody in the field, it was probably about 30 people worldwide, okay? So that's how, how small a community was. Uh, 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 it, it was back in, uh, uh, in the mid-90s, right? So that's... Uh, but then we we got to know about almost everything that was happening in reinforcement learning back then, uh, sitting there, and also uh, contributed a lot to the foundational underpinnings of what uh, now people uh, have been building on top of, right? And then, of course, the big uh, breakthroughs in reinforcement learning came, uh, uh, at least uh, uh, to the public eye, right? Came, came in 2014 when uh, DeepMind uh, uh, started uh, their uh, uh, initial forays into reinforcement learning.